rider. The big question, however, is how does this work? What has prompted such an action? What offenses are being targeted so much more? and so much more. So I do have David Rukasi on standby. He is uh, being joined by Mr. Actually Dr. Stephen Kasima, the Traffic Police uh, Director, to illustrate this practically for you so you can get to know. They always say that ignorance is no defense. So tag, tag your friends. We are live on NTV Uganda, Facebook and YouTube pages. Good morning, David Rukasi. Good morning, David. David, if you can hear me, good morning. Uh, good morning, Mala. Thank you very much. Uh, the next time you are stopped by a traffic or police officer, you might not be getting that uh, ordinary paper uh, that is usually signed with your names and uh, the number plates and everything for a traffic offense that you may have committed on the road. The next time, uh, it could be a lot more digital. Um, in the Daily Monitor on the 25th of June, uh, we had uh, that story about new traffic penalty system uh, that targets uh, defaulting drivers and that means that uh, the manual express penalty system is gone and you know looking at the fact that we are in the digital era where things are changing every single day we are moving from pen and paper uh, to digital things uh, it is quite understandable uh, with me today on the show I have uh, Dr. Stephen Kasima uh, the traffic police director uh, who is going to help us uh, together with um, uh, ASP Sunday Stephen the regional traffic officer Kampala Metropolitan uh, to uh, to explain for us to get a feel and understanding of uh, what the new system looks like so I know motorists have been worried our taxi friends um, uh, saying that they would be targeted um, of course uh, vehicle owners as well very very worried about uh, uh, the new system but it's quite understandable Mo many times when you don't understand things uh, the worry is understandable um, good morning doctor thank you for joining us today good morning um, the new system uh, why are we moving away from uh, the digital era to uh, sorry the uh, the more analog era to a digital era right now uh, the analog era as far as EPS is concerned, had many challenges. Mm. Actually, Ugandans, the motorists forget very easily. They are aware that they have been complaining that the, that, 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 that the EPS regime has been very challenging, marred with many problems. Manual issuance of tickets has been a problem. These tickets are not easy to keep considering the days an offender is supposed to pay. If it was instant that they give you and you pay right there, like it is being done in Tanzania, but you give a ticket, a paper, a piece of paper, a motor is, is supposed to pay within 28 days. Some pay, some don't pay, they forget. Reconciliation with the police that issue tickets on behalf of URA, with URA has been a problem because of the analog the old system. Reconciliation with the first technology to determine whether the motorists who are driving have genuine driving permits have been a problem. Government has been re losing a lot of revenue. 50% of the tickets we have been issuing are not paid. The law has also not been fair to us and I'm aware the law is soon to be amended to address also the, the loopholes. So, uh, uh, automating this system is to make it user-friendly to motorists, government agencies involved in this process, and also to, to punish the offenders. Because if you give a ticket, instead of taking that offender to court and the person does not pay, the objectives of punishment are not realized. That is the reason why we are having increase in accidents in Uganda. Because you get somebody over speeding, drink, drunk, is driving on a phone, they're asking for the ticket because they know even the, the value of the ticket is just too low. But now if they continue paying, you, get, you give a ticket in Riantonde, the person is over speeding, he pays. In Masaka, you get him over speeding, he pays. They will fear. We, we hope. Because the objective of punishing without prosecution is not to get money. 
but to address the challenges of accidents in Uganda. Doctor, um, are you saying that now the payment will be instant? Uh, no, you say 50% of um, uh, the tickets that are issued out are not being paid. Mm. Does this new system guarantee that um, every single ticket that is issued out in uh, uh, the new era is going to be an assurance of it being paid? Yes, because and unless you hide the vehicle or you don't drive, currently up to when we, we automated, by the way, the system will begin on 1st July oh. next week. Oh, my God. Is it next week or this yes, week? Yes, next week. Yes. We wanted it to start with the financial year. Mm. Currently, very few people can trade track, can trace offenders who have not paid. But once we start, everybody who has this gadget, Sunday will explain, will be able to know that you have not paid by way of putting in your driving license or the number plate of the vehicle. If, I, if a, a police officer issues a ticket in Chisoro, the one in Guru will know that they have issued the ticket. Oh. And the one in Kampara will know that you have not paid after 28 days. I'm aware even the, the, the amendments will make it four days instead of 28. Because 28 is too long that even the people forget, they, they, they forget to pay. So if you call it express, why, why 28 days? Why 28 days? So be even instant. Uh, so um, this new system is simply trying to help um, a driver that could have driven to Guru for once in their lifetime, mm. and they commit a crime in Guru. They get that receipt. Mm. They come back. They come back to Kampala. There is a chance that they may never go back to Guru, and they may never pay that penalty. Once he is on the road, yes, he's going. To is going to be because caught. of the new system. If he is going to get to renew his permit, we are working with the Minister of Works and Transport because they are a key agency, a key government department in this process. We actually do delegated functions. Minister of Works takes precedence on road safety issues because first technology is under Minister of Works. So that when you are going to renew your permit, even now we can trace you by the permit. If you put the permit in the system, in that gadget, we shall know whether you, are, you have put tickets. The more reason why we are going to give, issue tickets basing on driving permit number, because sometimes, especially these Kamunye drivers, because the cars are not theirs, they are not theirs, so they hide the tickets from the owners, and owners sometimes tell us, we don't know this one, but this time it will be the driving permit number. And oh. very soon, we are going to integrate with the, 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 the National ID pro project. So, so there's going to be a change because before they would take your driving permit, of course, just to take your names. Mm. Uh, but uh, the key was the number plates of this vehicle. Yeah, we are using both. We are using both, but we cannot issue a ticket without a number, a, a, a driving permit number. We can now. Now it has to be the driving, driving permit, permit. Because once you the put plate. the driving permit number, yes, and the 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 the, 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 the the, the, the gadget captures the, the your, your details from first technology. Yeah. The driving permit is displayed on the system. If it is forged, we shall get you. So, Doctor, the question mm. is, mm. in case of a defaulter, mm. who is to face punishment? Mm. Is it the car or the driving or, uh, license owner? Yeah. Now, if you don't pay, in the new amendment, yeah. we propose, and I'm sure Parliament will support us in this. Mm. To park the vehicle and then the driving permit the driver keeps on so the road. Pay, to park the vehicle until the driver pays or ah. the owner because you are the one we employed the other person we don't know so why are you even now taking the driving permit since the no we are not taking the driving yeah, permit yeah, we no, are putting in yes the, the driving permit number because ah. if you park the vehicle you will get us the driver hey. no, those are amendments which have not come they may not be acceptable yeah. they may be acceptable but you know, like especially the PSVs, the Kamunye, mm. that's where we have a big problem. Okay. They change drivers, like seven drivers a day. <laughs> Chevarua, Huat, Drunkards, Rumpens, all of them are driving these Kamunyes. We want to streamline, and very soon you know each driver of Kamunye will get a badge, like we have done to the oh. buses. It is in the law. They have to be having a badge, and they have to have stages. This business, even the president directed that. This business of working in the Kamwich in the morning, then you go to Mbari in the afternoon, will stop. <laughs> so these are my colleagues in the transport industry, especially the Kamunyes, are fighting this. Because they know now it will be very easy to follow them by way of where they are operating. Their default rate is like 90%. 
Oh. When we are launching one of the leaders of Kamunye, say he's one vehicle of his, has tickets totaling 8 million. Wow. He's away and he doesn't bother to pay. And all his, his buzzard is amnesty. They cancel. Uh, they cancel. They give the money. So, so, so no. na, na, now that you're, you're talking about amnesty, what happens to the, uh, the, the the previous defaulters? They will pay because we have cleaned our data and we have uploaded it in. You're the going new to system. enter this that we old data them, yes. in the new system. Yes, that is if we if you if you are a defaulter, mm. we can put your driving permit number and you will see how many tickets you owe. Mm. So once we get you up up there, we are going to arrest you. But you see now, Fande, it is the taxes these people. Why don't you just create a separate law for them? Now for us, ordinary people who have been law-abiding citizens, you're also going no, to No, you are not the road. It's not the that don't pay. Yeah. All motorists, buses, rollies, everybody. <laughs> but the default rate of Kamunyez is high. Is, is high. Because they don't have similar drivers. Okay. Um, uh, in case you're just joining us this morning, we are taking a look at um, the new express penalty system. Uh, like um, uh, the doctor, I say, Dr. Stephen Kansima, who is the, traffic's, um, the traffic police director, uh, has been taking us through the details. Why they are moving from uh, uh, what we would call the analog system uh, to uh, the new system, the digital era uh, system uh, that it has been um, introduced and how it's going to work and when is it taking effect? First July is when it's taking effect. So the next time the traffic op officer stops you after first, uh, don't expect a receipt book. They're, that one they flip and then gets out a pen and writes as he asks you for your details. No, this time around he's going to grab his phone and he's not recording. Uh, or taking photos of your car. He's going to be entering the, uh, it, that, your particulars into the system. Uh, just to get more acquit, um, uh, acquitted with the system, uh, with me is um, ASP, Sunday Steven, the regional traffic officer. You have a system. Is this the system, the new system here? Yes, this is the gadget. Uh, the this is the device. Yes. Uh, before we get into that, the cost of this device, um, uh, taxpayer wants to know. You know me, you know me uh, I'm a, an end user. <laughs> <laughs> I asked the Inspector General of Police that, the, that we want to We want this. I, I, I don't see it in procurement. So okay. With prices so how many more. gadgets have you gotten? So 500 far? of them. 500. And uh, 135 computers. Okay. 125 printers plus 100 plus 500 mobile printers. He has also a mobile printer with him. Oh. Yes. Okay. So after after this, uh, the driver gets his uh, ticket. Uh, his ticket, yeah, like yes. a small receipt. You will see it. Just to remind. I don't know whether we have internet connectivity here. Yeah. 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 No, no, no. The internet in Kampala is very good. Uh, so this is what we're going to do. Uh, we have one of our NTV drivers who is going to take a shot at this. Um, NTV drivers are very, very good on the road. I think that, that you can confirm. Yeah, yeah, I have not got any problems with, with NTV this, drivers. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. So we have uh, one yeah, of our... We get with some ministries, especially min this ah. ministry which has S is the water. Ah, yeah, yeah, I think yeah, if yeah. we are to rate... Bad drivers. They are from the, that the, ministry. Uh, yeah, ministry. They, are, they, are, they are the worst. They but is this also going to work with government vehicles? Definitely. Are you going to Including pack police, government vehicles? We give, when we arrest police officers and we give them tickets, mm. we make them pay them before. For before they... Yeah, they before, we don't wait for 28 days. Yeah, but these, these, these <laughs> government of, uh, vehicles are very, very errant on the road. I hope you... Uh, if if you come, actually mm. I encourage you to go to Katwe with him when you finish here. Yes. And he, he will show you a list of those we have dealt with. Already? Are, de are detained prosecuted or given tickets. I am looking forward to that. You just go with him. Because most of them offend on the road. Ah. All categories. Mr. Sande, I am with you on this one. I have to yes. confirm. Uh, so, as uh, you can see, we have our driver, our NTV uh, driver here. Um, uh, Mr. Sande Steven, uh, that gentleman has been driving very badly. So we are going to stop him. Okay. And we are going to ticket him. So that we can uh, get a full understanding of how this system. Uh, no, 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 Fande, you will just forgive us for today, for demonstration purposes, so that we understand. They are very good drivers. See if you can pay for it. So we are going to take a shot at this. Um, we have a, a driver here that is going to uh, be stopped by um, the Afande here. Um, uh, for ASP uh, uh, Steve, Sunday Steven is going to stop this driver and then he's going to ticket him. So this is physical. So we are going to go and do this. Uh, this you driver. Come. Yeah, let, let him. Let, 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 let him. Yes. Okay. Uh, so right now, 
I don't know if we should stop him for drink driving or but we shall choose an offense. Okay, seat belts. Yes, seat belts. Very very critical. Okay, uh, so this is one of our drivers. He has been stopped. Uh, he has a seat belt, so he has survived. We are going to ticket him for the seat belts. So this is the process. Uh, yes. What? Good morning, viewers. Yeah. Um, at this point, like you have heard, our system is now free automated, and uh, what happens? We are not supposed to carry physical books like I've been doing. We are expected to carry mobile computers like this one, a mechanical device, and a mobile printer. An officer is expected to be signing these two gadgets every morning as he goes to work. And as you go to the field and you get a driver, you'll be stopping him to check if he has committed an offense on the road. Like I've stopped this driver of NTV, and I will establish if he has a driving permit. So, how are you? Do you have a driving permit? Can I have a look at it? Uh, so I first look at the driving permit or the driving license of the driver to establish whether he's supposed to be on the road. Yes, he has one, but I also discovered that he was not on seat belt. So I'm going to issue him a ticket for driving without putting on a safety belt and this is a requirement starting from monday anybody on the road without a driving license will not be issued a ticket you help me with this okay so the officer will switch on his gadget like the way it is switched on okay i log in using my password uh, the, every individual to get to the officer officers. will be having uh will be having an account Actually, I've already created accounts for different drive officers uh, for purposes of tracking what they do in the field. Okay. Mm. So this system is um, reliant on internet? Very much so. Okay. We are using MTN, Africel, and, uh, and uh, Airtel. Okay. So uh, here the officer is logging in to okay. issue a ticket. Okay. And there we go. Uh, the so, system is up. Uh, yeah, I have different options, but this time round I am issuing a ticket yes. to a driver without a seat belt, using okay. a seat belt. Okay. Okay. Which is uh, okay. Good. There's influence of alcohol. If he was drunk, we'd check. Uh, it is very early in the morning. He hasn't yeah. drunk yet. Yeah, so, <laughs> so we have very many offenses, you can yes. see. Just like they have this been is, in the receipt yes. book. This is our digital charge sheet. Okay. So here, driver 20, code 20. Okay. And the charge is driver in a vehicle not wearing a safety, safety belt. Yes, I'll come and select it. Okay. And I continue. So I will establish that the place of offense is Nile Avenue. I'm assuming we're outside there on Nile Avenue. Okay. I'll choose the place of offense so that I can track. Then I also enter his permit number, which is here on the receipt on his permit. At this point, he's pleading with the officer. Please don't, don't enter. I'm already uh, uh, yeah, but <laughs> officer. Please don't bribe police. Them, but yeah. They are the ones who start. Yes. Uh, I'm uh, telling you, we so should choose them. those who start first. Negotiations <laughs> are by um, the Negotiations is, is a Ugandan <laughs> thing. So, <laughs> officer, hmm? well, please forgive us. <laughs> we have committed an offense. And yeah. We are monitoring them. Yes. We are monitoring what they are doing. Okay. Yes. The administrator there is monitoring every person as long as so you, you can see. You gauge it. Before issuing a ticket, I first wow. validate. Wow. Cross check with first technologies to establish whether this driving license is young authentic. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, have a look at this. Uh, this is the new system. So you see, uh, they entered his um, uh, permit number, and if you can see, his uh, picture is already, that is the picture he took with Fix Technologies and, and, uh, and all the other details, even his signature is down there. Uh, this is impressive. Yes. For those who have forged the permits, because they are still many. Yes. 
that thing does not come. It doesn't come. So, so that at means... that point, you arrest that person. Oh my God. So here so I can they run away. this person yeah. has class DL, CM, B and A. Uh, this, Meaning, is, this is where you find more faults. If he's driving yes. a bigger truck, uh -huh. you can tell him you, are, you don't have a, a driving yes. permit to... Okay. And, and actually, why these people of Kamunyes yes. are fighting this system? Most of their drivers don't have the class. Oh, so they that? know we are going to get to them. Okay. They don't have the, they have class B, which oh. requires them to more cars. Small cars. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So at this go. point, yes, I'll proceed because I've already checked and I'm sure that I'm dealing with a driver, but who has committed an offence on the road. Yes. So I proceed. I've already captured all his details, his names, his gender. So I'll come and capture his vehicle number. Okay. Help me and read the number. The number of uh, UBA. It's UBA. Uh, 519R. 519R. But I need to cross check because most times hey. rivers tell lies and you enter wrong numbers. Okay. I also advise officers always cross check. So I've personally confirmed yes. that I've entered a genuine number. Otherwise, they may give me a different number even for my vehicle. At that point, officer, we are still pleading. Is there a way that you can... No. Now because it has already been already entered? Administrators are seeing, are seeing that you are, uh, you have, officer is, has activated the system. Yes. So at this point, I should stop pleading. No, there is yeah. no need for pleading. pleading it, you assume that yes. I've already started writing the other receipt. This new system doesn't have mercy at all. <laughs> no, the, the system, it is not a system. Actually, it is an officer. Uh, because an officer has an option of warning or caution. Yes. But once I decide to as an open the system, then I must. I should just keep quiet and accept the offenses yes. and get because ready Because I've already taken a decision <laughs> to punish you. Okay. <clears throat> now, where we used to have issues was on the Kamek, Kamodo, yes. because even our officers would make mistakes. Yeah. So the system developer here tried to make it simple for our officers on the road to differentiate different car makes, models, and categories. Okay. Because we would have issues where somebody says, I was given a ticket, but when we cross-check in the system, it is for a lorry, and may I drive a Primo, uh, because of the errors of yeah. maybe data entrance and officers okay. writing. So what options do we have here now? Oh, we have car makes? We have the car make, okay. car model, and wow. category. Wow. For example, the car make is the mother of the model. Okay. You will establish that under Toyota, we have different makes, M different makes yeah. models. Yes. We have Primo. We have Primo, we have Allion, we have all those. Uh, Alex. Cruz, Alex. Yes. Yes. So, we also have different categories. Yeah. We have a category of PSV, yeah. commercial vehicles, trucks. Trucks. No, no, no. PMO. Okay. PMOs. PMO. Okay. Government vehicles. Okay. Foreign vehicles, all that. Oh, okay. Yes. So, here under. This is it's a Toyota. Yes. Yes. I'll come and choose Toyota. Okay. And these things are in alphabet. Okay. Once I select the car make as Toyota, then it gives me different models. Okay. Under uh, the model now, yes. we get into the model. So the we make. always advise our officers to be very, very uh, keen with the model. Yeah. At times we even advise them to check on the insurance stickers and others are always written. Where you could find more yes. faults with the, yes. the car mm. in case they don't have... To avoid uh... issues of complaints. Okay. Mm. okay. So this is the Toyota Corolla. Yes. So we'll come in C and check. Corolla is here. Mm -hmm. It's already in the system. We don't need to write. Okay. Just select Toyota Corolla. Yeah. Then the category, this is a private car okay. because it's small. Yes. You come and check there is private vehicles, PSVs, goods vehicle, tractors, government vehicles. That's why Afand was explaining that we also punish government offenders. Okay. We don't spare drivers of government who breach the traffic regulations. So I will choose private vehicle. Private vehicles. Yes. From here I can cross check and see whether the information I will put in that system is what I wanted to enter. Okay. So here I'll print my ticket because I want to give the offender to go and clear. His name is Buanca Fred and to capture the date at which the ticket has been issued. Okay. Today is 26 June, June 2019. So I did not enter the date. Yes. But the date is auto automatic generated. Okay. Reason we don't want officers also to have very many chances of playing the system. Okay. So as I print, I have my mobile pr printer which is on. Here and now it is printing. Wow. 
because it uses Bluetooth. Oh, uh, okay. Mm. I'm switching it on, it was off, sorry. Okay. You're going to see once this light goes off, it means that it is, it is ready, it is connected. Yes. Okay. Okay. Here's your driving permit, you offender. Let us uh, ticket you properly. There are questions that, of course, are going to be asked about this new system, um, especially about uh, the battery usage of uh, uh, both uh, uh, the gadgets and um, internet usage, where there are areas like Mavira Forest, where there are very many all errant drivers. All cross-checked and all places yeah. tested. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Does each gadget have all the three, um, or you, you, you choose areas where the, uh, the system, the internet? It is a lot bigger. Uh, yeah? We have two. Okay. It is dual SIM. Uh. And uh, in most areas, like Kampara, MTN, yes. it is okay. Um, but when you go to areas like Mavira, you find mm -hmm. Afro Sanata. Afro Sanata. Afro Sanata. It's better. And others have Airtel. Okay. We have so you... with the mango. <laughs> so we have not used it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have it. Okay, yeah. quite understand. Even mm. them, they have their yeah, issues so with their own network. Them. So for those ones, we'll let them pass out themselves. Yeah. Um, training yeah. purposes. Uh, we're going to get to that. Um, yes. So okay. here, I'm yes. printing. I was trying to switch on. Oh, so okay. So prints a ticket like this one. So... Instantly. Mm. Instantly. So is, first, um, you need to take a look. This is the ticket right there. Wani Kafred is uh, being given... Um, a ticket, it is for 20,000 Uganda shillings for not wearing a seat belt. The description is right at the bottom. Yeah. The amount to be paid is there. Uh, the place, Nile Avenue, the officer name, uh, the driver name, the permit number, uh, the registration of the car, everything is here. It also goes as far as listing if uh, the driver is a lady or a gentleman. So that is it. So once it is printed, now that is a copy that you're going to give the driver. The driver here. And the driver signs here. Oh, there is the even signing. Yes. The wow. driver must sign as an acknowledgement of receipt. A receipt of this ticket. He goes to the bank and once he clears the the bank with the bank, yes. immediately his ticket in the system will be disappeared. Cleared. Yes. Because we used to have issues oh. also. We used to have issues with our drivers saying I've paid, but uh, the system takes long mm. to clear me from the system. Mm. But as of now, immediately you clear, the system is live. We are directly connected to URI. All banks have their connection with the URI. Immediately you pay like this, and the money is received. You come with this ticket, we shall put the number there. And you find so after 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 they clear, they have to come back to you. You don't need. No, no. They don't need to. You don't need to come. But after they clear, they can just throw it uh, that away. Yeah, I mean, it's up to them. But it for is, us, we have already known. It, it, it is. Yes. It is, Once okay. you want to cross check to see, you can come and cross check with us. Okay. Because we also check. We, we have this option for pay for checking yeah. the the payment status of uh, a ticket of a ticket. Yes. It is here. Mm -hmm. Payment status. This one helps me to know whether this ticket has been cleared or not. Okay. Yes. So you can just enter the... the, the yes. The, the For example, if I enter this ticket, yeah. it will show me that it has not been cleared. Oh. But I assume if you go to the bank, then... It and pays? Mm. Okay. Yes. Okay. This is uh, quite impressive. Thank you very much, uh, ASP Sunday, uh, taking us through uh, the new electronic system. Uh, that is going to be used now for traffic offenders. Uh, you have now used the system for training purposes. Yes. Are there any flaws that you have seen? Is there anything that you think should be improved? Are there any worries that you have internally that you think uh, could be improved on? Yeah, it is a system, and the system continues growing. Yes. We continue integrating. We have, a, we have hope and plan to continue integrating with other sectors of government like we have had we have plans to integrate with NILA, uh, CCTV. CCTV cameras and other stakeholders yeah. but as of now we have already addressed some of the major challenges like we had we had issues where the car owners would complain I would give you a ticket like this on the road 
you tear it and you go and park the vehicle home. Yeah. As somebody is driving on the road, police stops him and say, my vehicle has never crossed Ginger. I stay in Kampala. But now, you get this system, we can still track his permit. Even if Wanika leaves NTV and maybe goes to NBS, we shall stop him on the road. Yeah. It's not safe. And those people, they are very errant drivers. Yes. So yeah. whatever we are trying to do, we are trying to minimize gaps. <laughs> minimize <laughs> gaps of escape. Okay. Next to that, yes. we need to vote for our ourselves. So we can so, manipulate it. Oh, yeah. so you are the developers? Use consultants, yes. Traffic police. Yeah. We are not going to have people coming up with this system police, randomly. Traffic police, URA, and direct road of ICT in police. Oh, okay. Developed this system. Okay. We have the source code. Okay. So if there is any addition, if they want to add, add, add applications, it is our system. We don't need permission. Okay. Um, let's, uh, now that uh, we have gone through the system, let's um, uh, sit down here and just go through the last details of... Um, uh, this new um, uh, this new system let's talk about training mm. uh, this is a, a system that you have developed yourselves mm. like you say mm. uh, but training purposes mm. um, how many officers have been have been trained uh, to handle this because um, uh, this is the digital era things are not easier for everyone as they could be for the ASP here what I can tell you is most commanders regional traffic officers and OCs, most of them, including himself, mm. have degrees in ICT. And uh, some have diplomas and certificates. But we have trained all traffic officers. We took one month training them from their regions. We gave them exams. Those who failed had to do remedial the, the, the retraining. So all of them, 1,400, we are trained. Okay. And we shall continue training them. Okay. Because we have regional training officers yeah. with a view of keeping on training these officers mm. who may have challenges in addressing. But it's like operating a, a, a smartphone. Yeah. There are few things there. Yeah. If you want to check, for instance, if you want to pay for DSTV or for water, it is the same system. So we don't see, we don't find, we don't see any problem okay. with our police officers using this system. Okay. Um, as a person that is using this system, yes, uh, yes. you probably have taken us through the details of uh, uh, the system, works. how it works, and you yes. see it improving. Um, what, what is your thought now? Have you tried it with the drivers? Because it's very important as well for them to understand the new system. It is very important for them to know how this system operates. Have you taken some time to try it out with the drivers as well? Let me answer that. Let yes. See, this man is for Kampala and for Uganda. Okay. <laughs> yes, we have told our regional traffic officers mm. to go and engage all stakeholders okay. for one week or two mm. to engage them, teach them advantages and disadvantages. This is only changing from manual system to electronic system. Yeah. So from today, yeah. they are... I think yesterday they are in their regions, their districts, engaging stakeholders. Okay. Kampala Metropolitan Police started. Yeah. There, yesterday, Musinga was on all radios, CBS. We are, going, we, are, we are calling all these groups. Good enough, these ones from the bus industry are compliant and trucks. We are going to engage these Kotsa, Utrada, and other stakeholders in different regions. So it is upon these RTOs and OCs to engage stakeholders in their respective jurisdictions. Previously, for errant drivers, there has been a law that has been, continue, a ticket that has been continuously given out. Mm. Uh, but with the new system, I see it has been bro bro broken down to detail, mm. not wearing a seat, a seat belt. Mm. Is that the case for? for all um, cases? No, we have not changed the, 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 the offenses we are issuing on the old ticket. Yes. It's only we, we, we transfer, transferred the other, the other offenses, 20 to, to, to the to, new to, to, system, to this. Okay. until they amend. Okay. We don't amend laws, but the same system, only that we, 
there may be some amendments which mm. may increase fines or decrease them, but those ones we shall talk about it when they come into place. Okay. So, um, the other question is, who determines the amount that is, pl is uh, paid, the fine? Who, 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 who? The government of Uganda, it is not traffic police. Okay. Minister of Works is the lead agency in making regulations yes. concerning road safety. Yes. And they debate them in the parliament, so government of Uganda determines the fining regime. Okay. Yeah. Um, with us here is a gentleman who heads uh, uh, our drivers here at NTV, and um, I know he must have some questions that he wants to ask, so I'm going to give him this opportunity. You can uh, please come and join us, sir, uh, so that he can ask his questions while you are here. I think he may not have any. Yeah, there, there we go. You uh, can. My name is Mukonde Kennedy, uh, the transport supervisor, NTV. Uh, I've been a driver for the last 18 years. Um, my suggestion is about uh, uh, the training the traffic officers in defensive driving. Well, because I've been driving all over this country, uh, that uh, the drivers make out of accidents. Uh, but the uh, reason why they make accidents, they don't know what they do. Uh, when I trained defensive driving, I found it was important to everyone in this world. And I do research uh, about defensive driving, whereby if I, in our country, we still lack training in defensive driving, although the, the institutions that are trained in defensive driving, they are trained their best. And uh, you have to train, you have to pay the money to be trained. Why I'm bringing this to you is, is there any way the government can bring this to, to, to train the drivers. Like, I would uh, assume if someone is going to renew his permit, goes, the first goes for the, that training for three days, four days, he gets that knowledge of defense driving, whereby the person has been driving, assumes that he knows how to drive. But if he's taken through the, that training for two, three days, four days, is able to know that this is what they mean to drive. Is able, he can drive. Okay. Um, and reduce the accidents. Um, I think I think I think his his, his question is is quite clear. You yes, as as, as traffic shooting. officers, mm. your concentration is on getting errant drivers, mm. but and your proposals is on how to get those errant drivers and um, get the system paid. Mm. But do you ever propose that these drivers that you're looking to catch when they are in error are also educated more with the system we do we do and it is a, a very good observation why we have these numerous accidents is many drivers don't know how to drive mm. and those even who don't know how to drive don't know defensive driving you mm. may know but if for instance you get a tire bust yeah. what do you do what do you do that is yes. what we call defense yes. how do you prevent yourself and others from getting dead injured or death yeah. Yeah, Minister of Works and Transport is charged with that. For us, you know, there is separated, separation of duties. This is not our role, <laughs> our key role. Ours yeah. is to arrest yeah. and prostitute, but not train. But you can or have people propose. blame us for that. You yes, it is in the, in the pipeline. Like as I talk, there is one school which has been established under the auspices of Minister of Works and I think European Union. Yeah. They are training, they are training trainers. They have oh. trained trainers. Okay. Although they are, the number that has graduated is a few, because we have two inspector vehicles of police also as trainers of trainers, and some from these major driving schools. They targeted the big vehicles first and trucks, but we need to have many, and we need, we need to have many actually, before you renew, you renew your permit for those categories, BSV trucks, to be to undertake defensive driving. Okay. But we currently we have a few. They are, they, the, the ministry have identified it as a loophole, and I'm sure it will be addressed. Okay. Um, we encourage even private stakeholders to establish such a schools. Okay. And people pay when they go there mm. to get those those lessons. Uh, I don't want ASP here to relax so much because I have a question that I have had for quite some time, and I would like to pass it on you, and hopefully you can help me. Many times I have, um, I have, I am, I am. We are phone users on the road, and of course, many times we get caught uh, using our phones, texting, or calling. And one, one, one morning, uh, one afternoon, as I was uh, driving from the office, uh, just around um, railway yes. uh, down here, Mukwano, an officer stopped me, and uh, I was holding my phone, 
in my hands. I was not using it, but I was holding it. Mm. You understand the difference? Yes. And the officer said that uh, under the law, you are, as soon as you step into your car, you're supposed to put your phone as far away from you as possible. Let me get some clear clearance on that. I know you the <laughs> <laughs> yes, you may have been right, you may have been wrong. Yes. Because using a phone does not mean that you use it to call. Yes. You can even use it to text, to text or WhatsApp. Yes, yes. Read news. But, but like I said, because I wasn't using allow, it. No, the law does not allow okay, that. Talk so handheld. And you, you, see, you see, that is that is exactly. That phone could have been obstructing you. No, that is exactly what the, the, phone, the, the officer said. Of I think, that and it is obstructing. I think I think the interpretation <laughs> here is a little bit miscued. Mm. When they when they say using a handheld phone device, device. A, a handheld device, mm. they add the word using. They are using here, yeah. but it is a handheld. No, if you are not using it, yes, why are you he, holding? He made it? a mistake. Yes, that is exactly. Because you should have proved that you were using it. Thank you. Way of even going to the service provider uh -huh. to get a printout is a big process. Yes, actually, you should have given here a benefit of doubt. Thank you very Such much. Such a case should yes. not attract a penalty. Maybe a warning yes. that, uh, in my estimation, you could have been using that phone. Yes. Don't do it. Don't do it again. Keep it far. Yes, yes. Unless you clearly see a person yes, putting, yeah. putting it on. So that. that's why I said it could, have, it could have been wrong. It could have been right. Okay. If you are not, yes, you, you would rather give you even when you are using it than giving you a ticket when you are not using it. In cases of where we have had these officers stop us mm. and uh, clearly rightfully they are just trying to squeeze you into a box mm. uh, an officer stops you mm. and uh, starts by checking the uh, windscreen the mm. side mirrors the tires mm. your driving permit and he finds everything is right but he's still looking for something Please. in those cases where tell, should i run tell those officers you have your rights they have no right to waste your time they have no right. If you see an officer starting to saturate around your vehicle, suspect something. They have no right to waste your time. If they are checking tires, let them check tires. If they are on their normal duties, let them be on their normal duties. All operations we are conducting are, 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 are planned. They are not half hazard. You wake up. Mm. But of course, if he's on a checkpoint and he find uh, on on a, on a, a junction and he find somebody overlapping, he has a right. He she has a right to stop that person. Okay. So you tell them, of ask them why they are doing that or why they are wasting your time. Mm. Don't try this business of negotiation. Let's not yeah. engage them more than. Let them take you to the police station. Uh, to their horses, and they will not take you there. At that point, once they see that you are very confident, yes, yes. you at demand that, that let me be driven to your OC. At that point, mm. at what case should a traffic officer mm. insist that I am taken? Because that is a threat most times they use. Uh, they that tell me, let me take you to the police. Uh, they pack your car. For, for what? Let us do this. <laughs> at, what, what? at what point mm. does a traffic officer? Mm take a driver mm. or ask the driver to park his car at what point when the driver has committed an offense okay the traffic officer but not only traffic yes any police officer in uniform well if i have committed an offense mm. and i have been given the ticket here mm. you have the ticket system mm. why not ticket me and i go there are offenses which are not ticketable mm. there, we have only 20 codes for instance uh if you cause an accident mm. any, any any you can scratch somebody's vehicle mm. those are not ticketable offenses okay ticketable offenses are those we categorize as, as minor mm. and those where we are likely to, to get the corrections after 28 days okay like now if you eat touting used to be there these people who make noise in tax park <laughs> but uh, if you give a ticket a, a tout will you get that tout the following day <laughs> we removed them mm. so not all offenses are truck tickets oh, okay but uh, they, I, I caution the, the motorists and yeah. the public, yeah. don't bribe the police. Yes. Let them take you to the, 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 the OCs. Yeah. And it is prominent, especially when it is at night. And you know we have our mechanics, mechanisms of yeah. getting them. Yeah. I left my phone in my vehicle, otherwise I would have given you the number. Yeah. Do you have Mutawingwa's number? Yeah. We are going to give you a number. That you can call? That any motorist can call. I want to tell you 24-7 you will be assisted. And, and once these policemen know that you are going to call that number, mm. they will let you go. Already. Secondly, we have names. Mm. I think you can see my name. Oh, yes. And I like monitor. 
they only put NT. I mean NTV, they only put NTV. But we want also Wait. to know you. Because sometimes you make mistakes ah. and we want to choose you. So what is your we name? Should, we should get tags. Sunday has a name. Yes. All traffic officers have names. Yes. All police officers, by the way, yes. in uniform are supposed to have names. Yes. Those who don't display them, don't actually even accept sign for the ticket and unless, unless you know the person. The name. Let them remove the, the jacket. Yes. And we are telling them even if you have a reflector, put the name on top of the reflector. <laughs> you can even photograph the name. Uh. Take a photo. Because if you think we are making mistakes, take photos. And okay. when you go to us, yes. we should have that evidence. And we shall do. You talked about um, incidents where I uh, unfortunately bump into um, someone at the front or someone at the back bumps into me. Mm. Um, and me as we as two drivers mm. are willing to negotiate. Mm. What happens in that incident? Yeah. Does the traffic the officer have to... Officer, yes. Because some of those cases are not handled by traffic officers. Yes. They are aware we don't have traffic, but we have general detail. Okay. And they do also traffic work. Hmm. A traffic officer, if it is a minor accident, and yeah. both parties are waiting, can give you time. Just to park so, on, the, on, the, on the side of the road? Sort it out. And okay. once, once you sort it out... No ticketing you should, should go. happen. No, the, the accidents don't attract ticket. Okay. It should allow you to go. Okay. But the, the, sometimes we avoid, because... You, somebody says he will pay you, mm. then he doesn't. Then you come after one week when all the evidence has, has been lost. Yes. Because if we don't draw the sketch plan, it will be difficult for us to go back. Okay. That's why we are a bit cautious. Okay. If the, the police officer is there and you have agreed, put it in writing. Okay. That you are not going to come to us to disturb us. Because you will come to us and then we charge the police officer for not taking for not the taking necessary. Notes. Measures, yes. Okay, let's mm. talk about border borders. Mm. Uh, does this ticketing also uh, include the border borders? Because Why let not? us be honest, they are very, very errant on this. Well, we, if you go to CPS or other stations, there are too many. Yes, there's a picture they, that they don't uh, even follow them. Because ASP uh, Kasinger shared recently. They don't anyway. follow them because most of them are not theirs. They are stolen. They don't have documents. That's why we see them not being followed. But when it comes to border border. Kagwirao. Eh, hey, for them they are for. So we can't allow them to get tickets and they don't pay. <laughs> because you will never get to them. Yes. Once we conduct an operation on a border border, they pay. Actually, that's why they don't like us. Because they know we make them pay. Instantly. But where will you get a border border? Some come from Ruera and operate here and go back. Uh. Oh, place of offense, Nairo Avenue. Will you? Then the residence, some village in Ruera or. or, 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 or PG, where will you get to them? Yeah. So we normally make them pay. Because okay. part of why we don't get a lot of revenue is we used to give border borders. Okay. Police officers were getting giving tickets to border borders, to foreign registered vehicles, and they would not come back. Okay. They, 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 those are the mistakes. Thank, thank yes. you very much. Thank you uh, very much, um, Dr. Steven Kasima. Uh, this has been very helpful for mm -hmm. us, the drivers, and uh, for the officers as well out mm -hmm. there that could be watching this morning. Mm -hmm. It's very helpful for them to know that uh, we are now informed of what mm -hmm. they should be doing and it, how they should is be no, us. The change is we are giving you a, 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 a computer generated ticket yes. from a manual handwriting written. Some policemen don't know how to write. Yes. He puts UAE, then you, okay. some, the one typing reads it at UAF. <laughs> then they, they stop you when you have not committed an offense. Okay. We are addressing those problems and we are, more, we are going to be more efficient to arrest those who don't pay. That's why people don't want that. They are only on that side because it will be difficult for drivers to pass a checkpoint when they have ticket spending. Thank you very much, Doctor. Um, SP, Please. thank you very much for taking us through the system. I'm looking forward, um, um, uh, the doctor here uh, suggested uh, or that I should come with you to the police station Please so that welcome. we can see uh, those, um, those errant drive government vehicles. Please, you're ho ho Hopefully you're not just picking out on a small fish and leaving the big no, fish. No, no, we have records. But uh, thank you very much and uh, we look forward, we will do a re-evaluation after a couple of months to see how the system is available. Doing. Okay. Anytime. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, if you're just joining us uh, this morning, thank you very much uh, for joining us. Today we are taking a look at uh, the manual express system that has been uh, put aside and now we have a new system that is quite impressive, I have to say. Uh, this has been created by the police themselves, so no one has a photocopy of this.
and they are the only ones that can make changes to it. So the next time you see a traffic op officer that is walking up to you and they have no receipt book and just a um, something that looks like a phone, a gadget, this gadget that you see right here, please don't be worried. Uh, they are going to use this new system to ticket you for an offense that you could have uh, committed. And um, let, just as we wrap this up, I need to give you this number. And uh, he is uh, by the names of Mutabingwa Moses. Mutabingwa Moses is an ASP and, he, and he uh, Prof. Karat School. He handles traffic Traf alerts. He, 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 he handles in discipline traffic officers. Okay. So he receives complaints and he addresses them. Okay. He's on 0713 I repeat 0713 if you, you can text him a message or call him, he will call you back. Please don't call him to uh, plead yourself into uh, getting out of a traffic offense. This is only when you feel that you are unfairly being treated by a traffic police officer. Uh, this morning on our Kickstarter conversation that has really been big, uh, thank you very much uh, for joining us, uh, uh, Dr. Stephen Kansima, the traffic police director, um, that of course uh, for Uganda, and uh, ASP Sunday Stephen, the regional traffic officer Kampala Metropolitan and we are of course I'm going to go along with him we want to see those uh, government vehicles these days we are being agitated so much sirens every single corner uh, people driving like lunatics because they have those red number plates on the road uh, so we are going to go with the ASP here to have a look at uh, those cars uh, right about now let me hand you back to Malam and uh, hopefully uh, you got as much as you could this morning uh, Malam back to you in studio Thank you so much, David Rukasi. I'm telling you, out of that whole conversation, I'm sure what the viewers yeah, this have is, grasped this, is, this, is this morning is um, that particular number, that number that you can take advantage of just in case you feel like you're being, you know, um, harassed by any traffic police officer, all right? And he did say that the number is 0713215704. Thank you so much, David Rukasi, for that conversation. We will share the same conversation on YouTube so you can be able to share with your friends let's be in the know they say that ignorance of the law is no defense all right we are taking a short bumper we'll be back with the big conversation another big conversation that we are having in the world of sports you're watching morning at ntv Giant Uganda Company Limited is the number one manufacturer of aluminum profiles in Uganda for sliding doors and windows, office partitioning and curtain wall section. Located in Jinja and Kampala on Plot 84 and 88 7th Street Industrial Area, you can contact us on 0 